make sure you like and share this video okay what we can see here now is we have two panels on top of the roof one is 190 watts and um, two of them are connected to give out 380 watts power into this um, system so we have the breaker and the switch for the solar panel for the charge controller for the battery and for the inverter so this is controlling the inverter part and this is controlling the outputs to the load itself so this is the the charge controller and the switch up here we have the inverter and the switch up here we have the battery and the switch up here all these devices are for short circuit and overload protection and at the same time it provides isolation in terms of probably you want to do a maintenance on this particular equipment or an upgrade you can actually isolate it from the system by switching off this switch and do your necessary um, work on any of these devices based on all this so as we said earlier this inverter is a 4000 watt peak capacity and 300 watts continuous load and I mentioned earlier that the panel on the roof is 380 watts. So the 80 watts extra on that system is to make sure we maximize the, the capacity of the inverter due to the losses we might get. So we are actually getting the full capacity of the inverter to supply load to the system and at the same time charge the, the battery itself. So before the sun sets for the day, our battery is completely, completely full and our devices can be powered in the house like our lights the um, the tv the laptop you can charge your laptops you can put on your your fans and all those and um, small loads that doesn't carry too much um, current like you cannot power your air conditioner your your refrigerator and all those heavy equipment for that kind of installation we have other um, designs you can do to meet that particular design so if you need a quotation, go straight to our website and you see a price list and you have access to fill a quotation request form. Fill that form so, so we can get your information and we can present you with an official quotation. This installation right here was done in Yaba, Lagos State, as we have said, in Nigeria and it's a very affordable um, solution, a very affordable solution that you can get for yourself so this this system has several amazing features that we are going to demonstrate demonstrate to you right now so let's go so right here we can see the charge controller has two usb ports for charging your usb devices and also on the inverter side we also have another two extra usb ports for charging your devices so in this case you can charge your devices like your power bank your uh, wireless speaker and some other, other kind of uh, equipment that have the USB port. So all you just need to do is take your your cable and slot directly into this port, and they all begin to charge directly from the solar charge controller. Because you can see on the power bank now, it's charging. So during the sun hour, it's advised for you to charge directly from the solar charge controller. Then you can see also the the JBL speaker is also charging. So we have many options to charge from. Is either you charge from here, or you can take it out from this point and bring it down to the inverter side too. It gives you super charging capacity. It just it is a very fast charging port. You can see both devices are charging. So you don't need to go directly to your wall socket and charge. These are direct, direct current and um, DC current coming from these two devices for four outputs for your small devices to charge effectively and very, very fast. Please like and share this video as it's going to be very beneficial to everybody watching. So today we are going to talk about the installation of this um, mini inverter system used for small homes and small businesses. First of all, we'll talk about the solar panel on the roof. On the roof, we have two solar panels that is supplying this um, inverter system. So the inverter is the solar panels are actually coming into this point. We have four switches to control every kind of devices here. Here is controlling the DC part, while this one is controlling the AC part. So for the DC part, we have this switch to control 
the solar panel, we can disconnect the solar panel coming into this entire system. Then the second one is to control and protect this charge controller also. Then the third breaker is used for protecting and um, <coughs> isolating this battery from the entire system. While the last breaker from the DC side is the communication between the, the DC side and the inverter side. So that is for the control part. So for the AC side, here is the input protection for the AC going into the voltage and current protector and this one is actually the load protection going into the supply of the entire um, the house. So here, as I said before, is a charge controller. It controls the amount of um, energy coming from the sun and at the same time charges the battery. So the power is gotten from the battery is being sent out to the inverter which is converted to load. So here we have our changeover switch to switch between the inverter and um, grid or NEPA or PACN. So anytime there is light, you can come here and switch over. We also have the indicator to show that the is currently working on the inverter and when this red light comes on, that means there is NEPA being supplied to the to the house. So this, this um, video is being done from Lagos, Nigeria and um, we have also a battery here which is being charged. This is a 12 volt 75 AH AGM battery also. It's, uh, it stores the energy during the daytime and when the sun is down, it can actually power all the equipment in the house. You can see all the lightings in the building is on. It can power your lights, your fan, your TV, at the same time charge your laptops and your power banks also. So for low, for low load usage, you can actually use this system.